cooler days, even cooler nights. Ah, the fall is here. And with that, a lot of people ask about how to dress and how to stay warm and maybe should they be packing in their kit extra layers. So today I thought I'm gonna show you something I've been doing. I've been doing it for years. I love it. I think you're gonna love it too. Got you there. You thought I was gonna do that, but I'm not. So what in the world is this mysterious thing I brought out of my bag? Well, of course, you know it's a blanket, it's a wool blanket, but I like to call it a wool shard. Now my wool blanket shard that I carry with me was a twin size wool blanket and then I cut about a third of it widthwise. You can play around with this a little bit, half is really good, but a third for me just it seems like primo, works absolutely perfect. Now I know, I know, you might be thinking, now what am I gonna do with a half a wool blanket? That doesn't even make sense. I thought this video is about staying warm and all this good stuff, and it, it really is. So the wool blanket shard proves trustworthy in all different situations. But before I tell you those situations, first of all, it's a small, it's packable. You saw it fit right inside my backpack. You can jam it down in the bottom of your backpack. It doesn't take up much weight, but it's super versatile. So the first great thing about this is that in colder weather, when you decide you're gonna sit around a campfire, you can just pull this out and sit on it. Keep your butt warm, keep your butt dry. Works great for that. Next, at night, on top of your normal wool blankets, you can also use this as a pillow. So you don't have to worry about carrying anything extra. You can just stick this underneath your head because we all know we get a better night's sleep when we have a pillow. And if it's super cold that you are shivering and think, oh, this wool blanket I have over me isn't doing the job. Well, you can always throw your shard over you because it's still big enough to cover you up and add one more layer of protection. But most of all, we can wear it. That's right, we can wear it. More than just throwing it over our head like this and walking around like some nut job. Okay, so what we're doing here is I am gonna just throw this. You can put this over your head and do the same thing. I like to literally just lay it over my shoulders like this. Now you can see it gets a little bit bunched up in the back. So I like to try to keep that unbunched the best that I can. And then what I do is I level these two sides out just like this and then I pull it a little bit more and overlap it. At this point then I grab my trusty old blanket pin and I go ahead and use it to secure my blanket onto myself. Now one question I'm gonna get, I know, before I even go ahead and show you how this thing actually works on the blanket itself is, are you gonna destroy your blanket? And you really wanna use this with a wool blanket because it's woven. So the pin, although it's large, okay, is gonna slide in between the fibers of the blanket. It doesn't hurt the blanket at all. And then uh, once you pull it out, those fibers close back up and you're good to go. Okay, so the pin itself is a blacksmith loop little pigtails on the end, and then it has, of course, this pin here, okay? So when I pull my shard around, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my pin, and I'm going to gouge it inside. So I'm gonna get material, and I'm gonna pin off this side, just like this, and it's gonna come out this side. So you can see right now what's going on there. I drove the pin through and that's holding both sides. Now what I do is I simply close the pin over and that's why this end is open because what's gonna happen is that open end is gonna go through the pin itself just like this. And then all that I do is rotate the pin. That's gonna lock it in place. Now at this point my shard is secured. It's not gonna go anywhere. I can run around, I can jump around, I can even do handstands. So really easy, really quick. The other nice part of the blanket pin is you can also use that pin as an awl if you wanna sharpen it up a little bit more. But um, point being that you can easily wear this thing if you just team it up with this. Now you can use a needle and thread just as easily to get this done. So what I have here is a little bit of bank line. I'm going to remove this blanket pin and I'm going to take my needle with my bank line and I'm gonna do the same process. I'm just gonna get this in place where I want it and then I'll just drive the needle through one side, out the other side, and then I'm just gonna pull that through just like that. Now what this is gonna do is give me my two ends right here so I can just go ahead and tie this like a cute little bow 
and my blanket is secure. And yeah, I said cute little bow. I mean, we're manly men. We can have cute little bows. And just like that, another quick, easy video, stuff that you can think about. If you don't wanna use this, another tool for the toolbox, but I think that if you start using this thing, you're gonna absolutely love it for the wintertime environment. Even fall right now, I have it in my bag, and it's gonna be a staple there until it starts to warm up again in 2021. So uh, yeah, throw a wool blanket shard in your bag, and uh, you're gonna love it. This was Dan Walker, Cold Cracker Bushcraft. As always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com for our school, classes, blog, merchandise, which we do sell on blanket pins, and um, till the next video, stay in the woods.